Hello? Let me ask you, who are you? Who really are you? You know, growing up, I used to ask myself, who am I? Because at times I would have spiritual, godly, holy desires to really do the right thing. And at times I would have worldly, coarse, mundane desires to do animalistic things. And I used to ask myself, who am I? Am I really a godly, good person? Or am I an animalistic, mundane, coarse person? Who am I? You know, when Rivka was walking by the yeshiva of Shem and Aver, her stomach was kicking. When she went by the house of idol worship, her stomach was also kicking. She was confused. I'm having a child with a split personality? What's going on here? She went to the yeshiva of Shem and Aver, and they told her, Rivka, you don't have a child. You have children. You're pregnant with twins. She was relieved. Why was she relieved? Because she realized it's not one person having two extreme desires, it's two different children. You see, when a Jew starts learning Tanya from the Alter Rebbe, right off the bat in chapter 1 and 2, the Alter Rebbe says, every person has a nefesh kiss, a godly soul, and a nefesh Bahamas, an animal soul. And those two souls are fighting tooth and nail. Each wants full control over the body. And it's a wrestling match. They're going to be fighting their whole life. Just like Yaakov and Esav, Kishizek comes and Neufel, one goes up, the other one goes down. That's the nature of the two souls, it's a, it's a war. So the answer is, you're not one person with one soul, with two extreme desires and wants. You are one person with two souls, a godly soul and an animal soul. And when a person has these two souls. He is a healthy, beautiful human being created in the image of Hashem. That is what the person is made of. And he has to know that. And know that it's going to be a constant battle and struggle his whole life. Never give up. Keep fighting. You know, the followers, the Hasidim of the Mithla Rebbe would speak about very lofty concepts about God and the creation of the world. But there were certain followers that weren't so deep. What did they talk about? So we have it passed down from generation to generation that their conversations would go as follows. One chassid would speak to his fellow chassid and said, today I give him a punch. Yesterday he gave me a punch. Referring to the nefesh al kiss, the godly soul would win one day and the other day the animal soul would win. It would be a constant struggle. And they would finish off and say, hopefully my godly soul will get the last knockout punch. All the best, till next time.